Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming Friday Five and Five and today's topic I'm going to be doing my top five musicals. So this is like hell, literally. It's it's so hard to choose my favourite because you know I love all musicals, but this was requested the most so I thought I would do it. Oh my god, this is gonna be so hard. But I can do it. So my first favourite I'm going to be talking about is Jersey Boys and this is one of my absolute favourite musicals, I've seen it, I don't know how many times I've seen it, four or five times, and it's so good every time I see it. Um, one of my favourite um, like musical theatre stars are in it, um, which is Ed Post, and obviously it's a bit hard because I love the musical to pieces, but I also love seeing him in it, so it, it might be a little bit different not seeing him in it, as he's finished, he's finished now, but I still love the musical and I would still totally go see it. Um, but yeah, that's basically just, it's just my favourite musical, it's just so, I don't know how to explain it, um, it's just, it's like really funny but it's also sad as well, um, and it's basically the story of the Four Seasons, Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, and it's all their music and it's just their story through their life, <laughs> um, and it's one of those musicals where you kind of go see it not really knowing if you're going to like it, but for me I loved it, and I've been, I really, I've found that, like, since I've been watching musicals, I really like the type of musicals where it's about people's lives. It's like old, so, old songs, so like Frankie Valli. I love, um, another favourite I'm going to be talking about in a minute is Dreamboats and Petticoats. And that's got all, like, the old music in it, and that's one of my favourite musicals ever. And I really liked when I went to see the Buddy Holly story. That was really good. I really liked the Tina Turner one I went to see. So I really just like all of them that's got, like, the old funky music in, because I always think that's way better than any music this, these times. Um, well, apart from like other musical songs, because nothing can beat musical songs. But out of like, the like music that's actually been out on the charts and stuff, they're, they're so much better than the, the, all the ones these, these years. <laughs> these years sounds so good. <laughs> um, and my favourite song from Jersey Boys is Walk Like a Man, 100%. So my favourite thing, I'll play you a little bit of it, I love it. I've got the whole album on my phone because I love it so much. <laughs> it's basically, it's awesome. I can't play anymore because I'm going to get copyrighted and I'd rather not get copyrighted. <laughs> but um, it's just, I just love the dance because it's a, it's hard to explain, you kind of have to go see it but um, when they do it they do this little dance where they like gather pause like this and it's the funniest thing ever, it makes me laugh every time, I don't really know why, I just love it and me and my mum always look at each other like this because I love it but it's so funny because they're like dee 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 dee, it's so cool <laughs> but anyway, so the next musical I'm going to talk about is Dreamboats and Petticoats which is what I've already said, is about, um, it stopped running now, but it was so good, it's like one of those musicals where it's not very well known, but I love it to pieces, and again, two of my favourite, like, musical theatre stars were in it, and I loved it, and they took me backstage and stuff, so it just means so much to me, because it was like, it was like the first time, um, I went backstage in, like, a West End, show and I loved it. I went to see that about four or five times as well. I absolutely loved it. Um, and, oh, it's just so good. <laughs> um, and, I don't really know, it's like one of those musicals where it's, um, I don't know, it's just fun to watch. It's like one of those ones you just dance along and it's like really funny. Um, and it's also got a love story in it so it's really cute as well. And my favourite song from that is a song that was actually wrote for the was actually wrote for the musical which is Dream Baby Dream. Called Dream Baby Dream. I lie awake thinking of you. Yeah and then it like, really kicks into it. So yeah basically that is my favourite song from that musical because um all the other songs are songs that are actually... It sounds like I'm going like, well they're real songs, because musical songs obviously aren't real songs, like they're life. But they're like, 
real songs. <laughs> it's hard to, it, yeah, you guys know what I mean, like real songs. And that one was wrote for the musical and like, I love it. It's so, it's so good. And then in the musical it's really good as well. So yeah, I really like that. And I miss it so much. So yeah, um, oh that's really sad, I really miss dream boats. I just spat everywhere. Delightful. But anyway, <laughs> so my third favourite musical uh, I'm going to be talking about is Fi uh, yes, Finding Neverland, <laughs> which um, oh, it is so heartbreaking, I'm not even kidding, I, I don't often cry at musicals, the only musicals that have made me cry is Finding Neverland and Blood Brothers, and I think War Horse might have made me cry, which obviously isn't a musical, it's a play, but that made me cry. Um, but anyway, um, Friday Neverland, oh my god, it's, it was so unexpected, I can't, I don't, I can't tell you, just because you probably, you probably won't have seen it because it's only on Broadway at the moment, but it's coming out to West End, I'm so excited, and I got to see the original cast in Broadway, and I saw it twice, and it was amazing both times I saw it, it is just so, so good, and like the, um, got like special effects and stuff in it which are on point like they are so 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 good and the songs in that are amazing like I c couldn't pick a favourite song from that so from Fighting Neverland they're just they're just all so good but um I really like singing a song called All That Matters if I can find a good clip of me singing it I'll try and put it in somewhere uh, but I love singing it at the moment I actually sang it yesterday, so I might have a video of it. Now I can put that in if it isn't too bad. When reality crashes in wave after wave, pulling me further beneath. So what's the point in planning for a future when it all can be stolen away? It's all I can do to hold on and survive. When the colours have faded to grey Another song I like to sing, it's probably not my actual favourite song in it I really like the song Stronger which is um So good, it has an amazing riff yeah Wait <laughs> I really like that song. Um, oh, this is just so difficult. I could play you the whole album. I think I'm going to end up doing that in a minute. But it is so good. And um, the thing I like about Stronger is he's li it's literally like the biggest. I think it's the, one of the biggest songs in the actual thing. He does like this amazing riff at the end. Which is so good. And he's like, I don't want to spoil it, but he's like, They've got so much like big sets coming out then and they're like climbing up it, it's so amazing. Like when it comes to West End, you have to go see it. And um, we got to see Matthew Morrison, which was amazing. And obviously he's not in it anymore, he was in the original cast. But I'm sure whoever's gonna be playing it in the West End is gonna be just as good. And it is just such a good musical, like I definitely recommend it to everyone. So good, but take tissues is all I'm saying. I just remembered it's actually a film but it's been turned into a musical, I think. I think that's what my dad said, because he said, I watched the film on that. And I was like, oh, really? Um, I didn't watch the film before I went to the musical, so I didn't really know what to expect, but if you, I guess if you want to know what to expect and stuff, then maybe take, maybe watch the film, but I always like to go into musicals with like a bit of a surprise. But anyway, um, am I, is it my last one now? Uh, I did Playing Neverland, Dream of Petticoats, um, that other one, <laughs> uh, Jersey Boys, um, I think that's all the ones I've talked about, is it? Uh, I think so. Um, anyway, I'll talk about another one, um, I'm pretty sure it's my fourth. So my fourth favourite I'm going to be talking about is what I think is every musical theatre, like, like, wannabe and lovers' favourite musical is Wicked, it is just so good. Oh, it's just like it's just one of those musicals you have to love and it's so big and powerful you're just like Ugh. when it's all going I don't really know what that was but it's like so big and powerful 
it's amazing and I'm sure most of you know obviously the main song of it's Defying Gravity which everyone knows like it's just amazing. But actually, if I have got to say, that is not actually my favourite song in it. Although that's like the biggest like impactful song and everything, it's actually not my like f like favourite out of all of them. My favourite is actually a song called No Good Deed, which um Elphaba sings. Um it's just so good. It's so powerful. <coughs> Yeah, so anyway, that's my favourite. <laughs> um, but I also love to sing, I love to sing No Good Deed, and I love to sing The Wizard and I, which is so good. Um, it's one of the opening songs, it's just so amazing. But obviously, I don't want anyone to think that I, I just don't like Defying Gravity. I love Defying Gravity, I sing it all the time. Although, you know, no one can really sing that properly, <laughs> unless you're like, amazing, which... Mm. Yeah, <laughs> no, I could definitely can't sing it as well as anything, but I like to sing it. You know, you just have me yelling at the top of my voice, like, ah, <laughs> which is basically what it sounds like every time I do it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, and um, yeah, so obviously I love Defying Gravity, but it's not my favourite because I always feel like the songs that aren't the, like, the songs that aren't the, like, biggest song of it are always the ones that are, are like, Oh my god, I really like this song. Um, but yeah, so that's basically why I love all the other songs. Oh my god, guys, you don't even know what was just going on. That was a massive, like, white cat that was running around, that was laying in our garden. I saw it earlier, but I thought it was just a plastic bag. Um, it was laying there, and Cody was freaking out. She was, like, going crazy about it. And then I went to go, went, so I had to go downstairs. Oh. It was terrible. It was a terrible moment. I I was like, I couldn't go back and see if it was all right because they don't normally just lay there for that long in our garden. But um, oh, it was terrible because Cody was like, oh my god, she's still freaking out and it's gone. It's gone. It climbed over the fence. It's gone now. But she's still freaking out. Oh, it was terrible. But anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> My favourite, um, my last favourite musical I'm going to be talking about is Blood Brothers, which is so amazing. I've seen it four times, um, it's just so good. This was another one that makes you laugh, it makes you cry, it's just so, so good, so, so good. Like, I absolutely love it, and I'm really sad because, uh, because it's, we've just, it's just finished the tour, I think. I don't know if it's playing anywhere at the moment, and that makes you really sad. And then also one of my favourite actors, Sean Josen, has been in it recently. Well, he's been in it every time I've seen it, he's not just been in it for recently, he's been in it for ages. But he is absolutely amazing, he's the best Mickey ever. Um, he was so good when we went to see him. He just You can just really see the character growth. And, I don't know, it's just amazing. And my favourite song from Blood Brothers is Tell Me It's Not True, and a song called Kids Game. I think it's called Blood Brothers. I think it's called Kids Game, I'm not really sure. I it goes something else. Let's see. Kids Game. So yeah, basically that's my favourite. One of my favourite songs from it, but obviously, you've all got to love this song. Which is, she's all around my room. <laughs> oh, awkward. I played at the wrong point to join in. But anyway, yeah, that was telling me it's not true. I didn't actually say it at all, but... I love it and it's just hard to talk about my favourite musicals because well as you know I am a complete musical like geek um, I love musicals so much 
it was so hard choosing five favourites. You know, and I know I said I was going to choose five. There's one more musical I'd really like to talk about, um, which is one that everyone's seen, everyone's done as a production. It's Joseph, Joseph and his Technicolor Dreamcoat. Um, this, uh, this one, it's, it's not because it's one of my favorite musicals, it's just because it's such a special musical to me. It's because when I was really young, I went to see it, and it was the, um, it was after watching Joseph, I think it was like the first time or the second time, I said, I turned around to my mum and I went, this is what I want to do, I want to be on the stage. And obviously I can't play jo uh, I can't play Joseph, but you know, dream big Ellie, you never know. But um, it's just one of those means because it's just so in like, it's so in like impactful to me now because it's all started me wanting to do this so much. And I've always known I've wanted to perform and just danced a lot, but is after watching this musical I was like okay this is definitely what I want to do because I've music I've been watching musicals since I was bef like before I was two but you know oh it's just I love Joseph and we saw Keith Jack in it who was very good as well so yeah um, I, and I saw one of my friends in it recently that was awesome to watch um, I don't really know it's just it's just one of those musicals that it's just so amazing and I, I don't have a favourite song in that in that musical I love them all <laughs> Actually, there's one song that, that I don't like. Well, I do like it, it's just... You know when there's just that one song that's over, that you're just like... Uh, this is long. <laughs> Which is bad, I know you don't really... Um, you can't not like a song from a musical. Well, actually, you can. Um, but... Yeah. Oh my god, I just wrote Joseph and it came up. Um, but I'll play you the obvious. If I skip it a little bit. Right, I'm gonna get copyrighted, I need to stop. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's my favourite song from it. And if you guys are interested, the song that I don't like from it is The King Days. I just feel like it's one of those songs that just like drags on and it's just a bit like it's, it's just sad. Right, so I don't like that one. If it goes, those Canaan days we used to know. It's just, it makes it really sad because it's like. It's such a like sad bit of the whole musical, so I don't like it. <laughs> but um, anyway, and um, so today, today obviously I did my top five musicals. And um, so comment below any other suggestions that you want me to do. I have got loads of others which I'll hopefully be filming soon. Um, but carry on suggesting because you never know it might be your day to use. It might be your day to find out my top five of your category. Wow, that sounds like. I can advert or something, um, but anyways, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, um, and obviously I could jump around about musicals for ages, and this is going to be a long video, I know, but if you have any other bits, like your favourite, what's your favourite parts of musicals, or what's your favourite song from a musical, or stuff, because although I've told you my favourite songs from those musicals and stuff, there might be like... I don't know, I don't want to spoil it just because to do it. But like, there's a bit in Lion King that obviously will be in my, my favourite part of the musicals. Which obviously Lion King wasn't in my top five. But you never know, you could, you could get a little bit more. <laughs> but anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and goodbye.